What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how you can edit and add user roles to your WordPress site. This is uh, especially helpful when you're working with uh, freelance clients and you want to take more control of like certain aspects of the site to make sure that your theme is activated, to make sure that you know malicious plugins aren't being installed, things like that. So I'm gonna walk you through a, a quick couple steps as to how to better manage that. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I find myself uh, editing user roles pretty frequently when I'm working with freelance clients. I do it also when I'm working on uh, sites that require multiple user roles for an app or something like that. But this one is definitely the most common. So what typically happens is I onboard a freelance client and I usually put as part of our agreement that I will manage the, um, the plugins, updating, deleting the themes, all this kind of stuff that shouldn't be touched by the client that can really mess things up. So, what I do is I add a new user role for that uh, site owner, and then I remove certain capabilities, which prevents any temptations and prevents any mistakes from happening. So what I want to do is I want to walk you through what that process looks like. It's super simple and super quick. So right now, all we have is when we add a new user role, we just have the typical uh, WordPress user role, subscriber, contributor, author, editor, and administrator. Well, we want them to do a lot of things, and so typically we would um, set them as an administrator and just move on. However, when you're an administrator, like I am right now, I can install plugins, add new plugins, themes, all that kind of stuff, which is not what we want them to do. So if we jump over to our code here, um, what I wanna do is I want to uh, set up a new action on after setup theme. The reason why you wanna do this is because we don't want um, the uh, roles that we generate to regenerate on every page load. So once we get that um, uh, action set up, we now have a space to play in and add, add in our role. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna add a new role and we wanna call that site owner um, and give it a nice display name of site owner. So this third argument that needs to go in here is going to be the user capabilities. So site owner caps is what we're gonna call them. And, but we need to know what these capabilities are. So we want them to have everything that an administrator has minus a few things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, a new variable here called site owner caps, and we're gonna e equal this to get role and we're gonna get all the roles in an administrator. Ad, um, administrator, there we go. And then off of that, it comes back with an object and we can grab capabilities. So let's grab the capabilities here and see what that does. Let's actually remove this action for now, just so we aren't having to mess with it. Goodness, there we go, there we go. So let's just dump out what these site owner capabilities are. So we go back to our site and visit the site. We can see all the different things that this, this uh, administrator can do. So what we wanna remove is activate plugins, um, update plugins, delete plugins, and install plugins. So let's take that, those items, and put them into an array, which I have done for us already. Put this back. So we have our unwanted capabilities. So these are the ones that we don't care to have. And we do have to have this arrow one over here um, or else this won't work. So we have our capabilities, the ones that we don't want. And what we need to do is we just need to do an array key diff. So what we have is um, an array key diff of the original capabilities and the unwanted capabilities. And what that will return is the difference between those two arrays. So what we can do then is just simply add that down here to our um, site owner caps, um, or we're adding it to the add role as site owner caps. 
And what that should give us is an array minus those, those four options. So let's give that a go. We're gonna do save right here. And then we are gonna go back and we are going to um, reload this page and we're going to create our new site owner role. So if we go back to our dashboard and we're going to add a new role, let's just call this client, client at example.com, .com, password, client, confirm pass, weak password. And so now we have site owner. So we can add a new role or I'd add a new user with that role. We've got a new site owner over here. Let's log out. And now we don't have over here on the right-hand side, uh, plugins is completely removed. So we don't have to do anything else. We now have a user role where they can't do that. So then you could add things like not being able to update the themes or update the core or, or things like that. Um, but that kind of gives you an idea of how that would that would work. Um, I did find out when we were, when I was uh, doing a little bit of research just to make sure I wasn't lying to you guys, but there's a really cool way to just make sure that this um, doesn't happen all the time. So what you want to do is you just want to check the database to see if you've already set up your user roles. And if you have, uh, don't run anything. So what we're going to do at add real quick is we're going to um, get an option on after theme setup. So if we have um, the option created of WPCast roles, roles created, then um, if it doesn't exist, then we wanna run all this stuff, right? So if we uh, need to run all these things, then we want to set up a, that variable WP roles created as uh, true, that way it doesn't run again. So if that happens, then we just want to create a new option, WPC roles created is true. So this will only happen the one time that we update this. And so if you wanna update this, you can set it to false, rerun it, and then set it back to true, things like that. So that just kind of gives it a little bit of an optimization. So that way it's not re-adding things to the database every time and trying to figure out user roles. It just makes it slower and you just don't, you just, it's a simple two line thing that will uh, save some time. So why not do it? But anyway, now we uh, still have our user role and we still are not able to add um, plugins. So I think this is a great little way of doing this. Now, obviously roles can be extended and um, you can do a lot more than this, but I just think that this is a good way to kind of get your feet wet with user roles. It's very simple. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have a better way of doing this. Um, I'd like to thank all of my patrons. We are about two patrons away from getting a, um, a monthly video exclusive to patrons. So if you haven't already signed up for um, as a patron, I encourage you to do so. Um, we're really close to starting to get those really nice benefits. But thank you guys, guys again for watching. I appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.